Recently released documents reveal that the CIA can hack into any iOS or Android device. But it gets even worse than that. WikiLeaks has revealed an information set being called Vault 7. And Vault 7 is a huge trove of CIA spying documents, revealing the full scope of what the organization is capable of. Now we've known for a long time that the NSA has access to much more personal information than most of us want, but recent leaks suggest that the CIA has the ability to turn any Android, iOS, Windows, or even Samsung TV device into a covert microphone, listening in on practically anything you say, anywhere, anytime. Now I know what some of you are thinking, you're thinking, Jace, come on, there's no news here. You've had many shows in the past talking about how privacy is dead, Where's the news? Well, the news is that although Edward Snowden did put a big spotlight on the NSA especially, the NSA is bound by certain US laws because they operate largely within the US that the CIA is not bound by. The CIA does not have to play by the same rules as the NSA does. The CIA is responsible for spying and espionage and gathering intent, uh, intelligence from outside the US, not inside the US. So they can do largely what they want. And they are saying that they have 24 zero day vulnerabilities. What is that? Well, it is not any bloody good, let me tell you. And Gary, help me understand this. I'll share it with you now. Generally, the practice is that when someone finds a vulnerability in an operating system, for example, the general practice is to give Google, Apple, Windows, or whoever 30 days to close that vulnerability to make it safe for the users like you and me. After 30 days, they can share that publicly because hopefully if the company has been responsible, they have closed that vulnerability. But a zero day vulnerability is something that someone knows, but they have not shared with Google, Apple, or Windows, whoever, so it's still vulnerable and they have the power to expose it for their own nefarious means. The CIA is saying that they have 24 zero day vulnerabilities for Android. This allows the CIA to bypass the end-to-end -end encryption apps like WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram, Weibo, Confide, collecting the message data sent through the device before the encryption was applied to those messages. This essentially allows all information input by the user to be collected by the CIA, meaning there is no hiding information, even when using apps that were thought to once be secure. But I said in the intro, it gets worse, and it does, in the words of Edward Snowden. Why is this dangerous? Because until closed, any hacker can use the security hole the CIA left open to break into any phone in the world. And perhaps the most frustrating thing is that there is very little you and I can do about it. What are we gonna do? Stop using anything with an IP address? Not very practical. <sighs> wow. Now, as much as that angers me, I do not want to sensationalize this. I want to be very careful and clarify that for the average person, they are not listening to your phone calls. They are not monitoring you in your bedroom, uh, monitoring your personal texts. What they are doing, likely, is gathering all of our data, everyone's, everywhere, all the time. And then they have programs to mine that data and look for flagged information. Little bits of red flags that should bring about uh, more investigation. So if there is something you've done in your background or your history, your family or whatever, that piques their interest, that suggests that you might be doing something they wanna know about, then they might investigate you further. But I don't wanna scare anybody in thinking that right now someone is listening to you on your phone. They don't have enough people in the CIA to monitor everyone with a phone. They have programs to do that through data mining. Let me know how this makes you feel. What would you wanna do about it? And come on guys, you gotta be practical about it. You're not gonna stop using your phone. You're not gonna stop using the internet. It's not gonna happen. I mean, an IP address is in freaking everything. You can't avoid it. There would have to be intense pressure on our political leaders to not only change this, but to set up watchdog organizations to ensure that things are uh, transparent. And when they are transparent, or there's something happens where someone has overstepped their bounds and uses technology for nefarious means, that we have mechanisms in place to fix that. 
that's a lot. I don't see it happening anytime soon. We're gonna have to build this whole thing up from scratch. Now, if you are a developer or an aspiring developer, code is your world. You create it, tweak it, and lovingly obsess over it, so picking the right repository management tool is super important. That's why our sponsor at Atlassian created Bitbucket. Bitbucket is the Git solution for professional teams helping over 5 million developers build with a purpose. Bitbucket gives teams of all sizes free private repositories with state-of-the-art features like the world's best pull request algorithm, built-in continuous delivery, and integrations with your favorite tools like Docker, AWS, and Azure. And because Bitbucket comes from Atlassian, you get the best Jira integration available. Bitbucket is for the code that takes us to Mars, decodes the human genome, or drives your next car. Visit bitbucket.org forward slash for the code to start your free account. That's bitbucket.org forward slash for the code. Try Bitbucket today. What will your code do?